Hi, today I would like to talk about this thing here, the Samsung Galaxy uh, A12. So without any further ado, let's get started. Yeah, here it is, the Samsung Galaxy A12, my new smartphone. Uh, I bought this right after I bought this qualification because you might have seen a video about that, but during that time basically my old smartphone was in a clamp hold and on the first day I used it for navigation and it fell off of the uh, clamp. So I've got a new one, the A12. See, it's a bit larger than the old one. Yes, yeah, smartphones for some reason keep getting larger and getting more cameras here. One, two, three, four. Uh, screen, no physical buttons on the bottom, no uh, top edge. It's actually a little pin over there for the camera, but nothing more. And very interestingly, uh, that means the fingerprint scanner can't be at the bottom end. It, it, on some new smartphones, I it's at the centre of the screen, but on this one, it's on the side here, which is very handy, very neat way of doing things. So it's very quick, very fluent. But right, my smartphones I always use the smart launcher. A very simple launcher there that has some uh, very nice gestures and then the news page has been replaced from Samsung with uh, one from Smart Launcher. Apps page has been uh, put into different categories. And uh, yeah, it has a page dedicated to widgets only, but it does work very well. Of course, this isn't the newest of the newest device uh, that's out there. It's one of the cheaper models. I, I bought this at a local phone shop for around about €199.99. Uh, including this very nice case. Of course, this one uses USB-C, uh, which means that I had to shelve out a little bit of extra money for 15 yards to be a little new little USB OTG thing on the bottom, so that I can use a <coughs> compact camera with this thing, one of these compact uh, one unit cameras, or one that I want to really want to get a, a DLR. DSLR, uh, I sometimes get abbreviations right, but that was worth it because uh, I just have to reach out for something to be exact. It is this thing right here Samsung Adaptive Fast Charger, right there. So that could go do quick charging in like an hour, half an hour. It could go from 20% to 80% of charge. Oh, look, let's have a jack there too. Same or, or quirk of this little adaptive thing, but at least I need to buy an external uh, sound card for this thing. But uh, one thing I don't have here on this display is the mount that I would typically use uh, with my smartphone. It used to be one of those clamps again. Uh, I do have the old clamp somewhere. Yeah, it's this one. Not great quality. It has been. Wearing out a little bit over the time. And I also have the old smartphone there, by the way, just for a little size so comparison. They're about as thick as one another, but they are not as wide, but not quite as tall. And this one, cracks the screen, fingerprint kind of have a bottom end there. It's quite some of the size, so I just like, pick it up. Put my finger there, and it unlocks. J5, it was lovely. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting very used to this thing. <laughs> Boy, do I love it right now. Yeah, I, of course, again, I have everything I want on here. I have some user profile, some web browsing, email check. Uh, I have some... Game toy. I, I, I believe I, I even have uh, Nintendo 64 emulator, M64 Plus, and the John emulators. And something very interesting right there, 
I have downloaded it via texting story. Only on this five times. I never did the texting story bit on the J5. I was just getting started with it. Uh, yeah. Thinking about how shorts would improve my time. It really does get quite a couple of views. And uh, of course, I also have my traditional camera stuff on here as well. So I believe quality is top notch of this smartphone. It's as great as some of the better ones, of course. Uh, but it does a jump for now. I hope it will do for uh, the next couple of years. And I'll say to see you next time. Bye. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you do, please give a thumbs up and share this video with all your friends and perhaps consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.